Hello and welcome to Cinebox Presents, where I give my two bucks instead of my two cents. I seem to have noticed that there are a number of animated films featuring talking animals released within close margins of each other lately. Most notably, Kung Fu Panda 3, Zootopia, and Sing. And now we have this one. Not that I really mind. I mean, I like the kind of movies that feature an all-talking animal cast. Though it is based on a graphic novel, I have this theory that the producers of this film were influenced by these movies in particular while they were all in production and wanted to jump the bandwagon in creating their own talking animal flick. And it kind of shows. The story itself is pretty formulaic. You have this young Tibetan dog named Bodhi, voiced by Luke Wilson, who wants to be a musician rather than help guard a sheep village. But his father Kampa, voiced by J.K. Simmons, objects to this idea because he considers music to be a distraction whenever the wolves would come by to attack the village. But then he's later convinced to let Bodhi go and follow his dream by going into the city. While in the city, Bodhi attempts to seek advice from a famous musician named Angus Scattergood, who's a white cat and is voiced by Eddie Izzard. Now, Angus himself is in a bit of a pickle because he needs to write a new song within a few days or else his career would go down the tubes. On top of that, there's another subplot in which a gang of wolves try to capture Bodhi as a way to take over the sheep village, and there's another subplot in which Bodhi tries to quote, find the fire, as part of a special move taught by his father, and, and, yeah, as you might guess, the story's kind of all over the map. What you have is a film that, to be perfectly honest, doesn't leave much of an impression on the viewer. Like I said before, I can see some of the influence in movies like Kung Fu Panda 3, Zootopia, and Sing, yet what I don't see is the strong inventiveness and originality coming off of that influence. I mean, like Kung Fu Panda 3, it has a Tibetan village setting and a plot device involving the use of ancient magic. It has a metropolis setting populated by talking animals, much like Zootopia, and it tries to work in the theme of music, much like Sing. Now, I'm not calling this movie a complete knockoff per se, but rather a film that won't leave a profound impact on audiences like those movies did. Despite having some cute gags, decent animation, and a voice cast that isn't half bad, the characters still come off as rather bland and forgettable, and the story feels like a few different movies in one, all of them being fairly disconnected and losing focus and finding a major unifying theme so that it can truly stand out. If it were more close to an adaptation to the graphic novel and did a little tweaking in some areas, then maybe it might have turned out a little better. It means well in its amiable nature and its attempt to inspire with the power of music, yet, in the end, it just doesn't quite know how to truly rock. For that, I give this movie on a scale of 1 to 10, a 6. It's alright, generally speaking. This is Renton White 11 giving us two bucks and signing off. I'll see you guys next time, and take care.